हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू गो वीएम लैब वीएम वर सिनेरियो बेस्ड इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर सीरीज एस वी हैव डिस्कस्ड मेनी टाइम्स दिस सीरीज ऑफ लेक्चर्स गोइंग टू हेल्प आर लर्नर्स एंड प्रोफेशनल्स प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर वीएम वर एल थ्री और सीनियर लेवल प्रोफाइल इंटरव्यूज इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट वन ऑफ द नेटवर्किंग सिनेरियो वेर वी हैव लर्न दैट वॉट हैपन्स वेन यू एक्चुअली गो एंड कन्फिगर वर्चुअल स्विच टैगिंग एट द वी स्विच लेवल एंड कीप योर physical switch port into the access mode and how it impacts your virtual machine network connectivity now let's continue our discussion further on those basic vSphere networking scenario and look at this question number 2 and let's understand that what scenario has been mentioned in the question number 2 of this series so let's check out the question number 2 here now let's understand the scenario what has been given in the question number 2 it looks to be a very simplified a very basic level of vSphere networking scenario but let me simplify that scenario for you guys before we go and try to understand the question what is being asked here so if you really see that this particular scenario says that you have a three virtual machine vm1 vm2 and vm3 these are the three virtual machines what we are having it these three virtual machines are connected to your virtual switch 0 and there is a port group named as vm network port group has been created on that virtual switch to which your vm 1 2 and 3 are connected and then we do have a uplink connectivity via vm nic 0 so that is our vm nic 0 uplink which is actually connected to your physical switch port and that's how your vsphere networking looks like one of the very basic scenario of vsphere networking now in this particular scenario if you really see that what has been explicitly mentioned here is that mac address so now we know that every virtual machine will have a something called vnic and every vnic will have its own unique mac address so if you really see that your virtual machine 1 is having a mac address aa virtual machine 2 is having a mac address bb virtual machine 3 having a mac address cc so these are the mac address what has been defined at your vnic level but then we know that vmnic 0 is also a physical network adapter we also call it as a uplink or we call it as a pnic and just like your any physical network adapter this vmnic 0 or uplink will also have a mac address and the mac address of this uplink is dd so these are the mac address what has been explicitly defined it here so now let's try to read out the question once again the question says that in a given scenario when vm1 vm2 vm3 communicate to the external server such as a.a.a.8 so let's say all these three virtual machines are trying to communicate to somewhere your external server and this server is let's say having a ip address 8.8.8 so if that is the ip address these vms are communicating with then what mac addresses will be learned and present in your virtual switch and physical switch mac table and explain it so when this kind of communication happens we have to figure it out what mac address going to be registered in the vswitch mac table and what mac address is going to be present in your physical switch mac table now if you coming from a physical networking world now let me uh, ask you a very basic question that let's say this is my physical world where you have a windows server 1 windows server 2 this windows server will have its mac address will have its adapter let's say network adapter 1 it will have a ne network adapter 2 let's say it's having a mac address aa it's having a mac address bb all this physical adapter is actually connected to your physical switch if this physical server windows 1 want to talk to another physical server which is windows 2 we know that what is going to be present in the physical switch cam table your physical switch will be doing the mac learning and as a part of mac learning process aa mac address would be present in your physical switch mac table and bb mac address would be present in your physical switch mac table because that's how your physical networking looks like now we have asked this question to many learners through a various different forums and we got the answer of this particular question saying that your physical switch will be having mac address cc aa bb and dd some of the learners have answered this question saying that this particular physical switch 
will be having these MAC entries, whereas virtual switch will be having an entry of CC, AA, and BB. That is the one of the answer we got it from some of our learners. Some of our learners have answered the question saying that your physical switch will be having DD MAC address, whereas your virtual switch will be having AA, BB, and CC MAC address. So these are the kind of answers we have received from a lot of our learners when these questions being asked to those professionals. Now, before I reveal the answer to all of you learners, spend some time and try to find out the correct answer for this particular problem statement. Now, let me answer this question for all of you guys. So now, always remember that in the virtual networking, your physical adapter, what do we call it as a uplink? This uplink by default always configured into promiscuous mode. You as a VMware administrator never go and configure this adapter into the promiscuous mode. Whenever you install the ESXi kernel on your, ES, on your physical bare metal server, by default that kernel actually go and configure that physical uplink or all of the uplinks attached to that ESXi host in the promiscuous mode. And now, your virtual switch, we know that I am not talking about NSX where the virtual switch does the MAC learning. I am still getting stuck. I am still referring to the old vSphere networking concepts where VMware has mentioned very clearly that virtual switch never ever do MAC learning like your physical switch. Always remember that your virtual switch, your virtual switch never ever do Mac learning like your physical switch. It never does it. The reason is very obvious because virtual switch is actually one of the module of your VM kernel and who is assigning Mac addresses to your virtual machine that is VM kernel. So if your VM kernel is assigning a MAC address to your virtual machine, virtual switch module is also part of VM kernel, then why they need to have explicitly MAC learning implementation? And that's what the basic virtual networking concepts says that virtual switch never does the MAC learning because virtual switch is already aware about the MAC addresses assigned to your virtual machine because it's just a kernel module which actually gets aware about the MAC addresses assigned to your virtual machine, which means that your virtual switch will not be maintaining any explicitly MAC table unlike your, uh, like your physical switch, right? That's the first thing. So your virtual switch, there's nothing called virtual switch MAC table, right? There's nothing called virtual switch MAC table because virtual switch is already aware that which virtual machine is connected to which of the port of that virtual switch and what is the relevant MAC addresses of these virtual machines. But then when we talk about the physical switch, the physical switch needs to learn about the MAC addresses because physical switch is not the implementation of the VM kernel, right? That's the external entity. And that is the reason whatever MAC address is being assigned to your virtual machine, your physical switch will never be aware of it. You have to make your physical switch aware about the virtual machine MAC addresses. And that is the reason all of these virtual machine MAC address gets learned by your physical switch because your physical switch have to know that what all the virtual machines are behind this particular physical switch port. If the physical switch is not aware that what all the virtual machines is behind that physical switch port, then how it will forward your uh, packets basically to that virtual switch for the virtual machine communication. So that is the reason your physical switch needs to be aware about virtual machine MAC address. And because this particular adapter is configured into promiscuous mode, that is the reason all the packets. So what happens is basically as when this virtual machine sends a packet, it go to your VM NIC and then this particular packet is being forwarded to your physical switch and physical switch knows that there is a packet with the AA MAC address being received on this switch port. When this VM2 generates a, a packet, it go to this uplink, hit the switch port and switch port says that, okay, there's a one more MAC address behind the switch port that is BB. Then there's another packet coming from VM3, go to VM NIC 0, hit the switch port, switch port says that there's a one more MAC address behind the switch port of mine and that is CC. So which means that your physical switch is going to learn about AA, BB and CC MAC addresses which belongs to your virtual machine MAC addresses. But then the next question comes that what about this DD MAC address? 
this dd mac address is actually a mac address of your physical uplink this physical uplink also going to have a mac address so the question is that is your physical switch going to learn the mac address of your physical uplink as well the answer is no your physical switch will never going to learn about this dd mac address because in the virtual networking there is no role of this dd mac address when i say in the virtual networking i am still referring to vsphere networking i am not referring to ns6 networking whatever we are discussing here we are actually referring to vsphere networking in the vsphere networking there is no role of uplink mac address in the packet forwarding and that is the reason your physical switch will only be learning virtual machine mac address aa bb and cc this physical switch never going to learn the mac address of your physical uplink which is dd because by default it always configured into promise kiss mode and in the packet forwarding this dd mac address have any role doesn't have this mac address dd doesn't have any role in the packet forwarding and switching to be more precise in the vsphere networking so now this conclude our discussion about what all the mac addresses will be learned by your physical switch and the virtual switch in the given scenario and as we have discussed that as per the the vsphere networking concepts there is no point your v switch will start learning mac addresses that is the reason v switch does not maintain any cam table same as your physical switch so v switch will already be aware about what are the mac addresses of the respective vms which are connected to it but then your physical switch has to learn about the mac addresses and that's where physical switch will be learning virtual machine mac addresses but it will not be learning your uplink mac addresses this mac address doesn't have any role in the packet switching and forwarding in the vsphere networking if you have interest in learning vmware more in depth not from a administration perspective but from the architect or consulting perspective then join our vmware vsphere zero to hero data center expert program this particular program has been highly rated by all of our learners 100 plus careers have been transitioned successfully with our zero to hero data center expert deep dive program with the 100% placement record now what are the key highlights of this program as you could see that it's a india's first job ready vmware learning program which has a 70 hours of intense learning with the 80 plus hands on labs 40 plus scenarios would be presented to a learner as a challenge questions to assess their learning we do have a mentors having a 15 years of experience and the certified professionals you would be getting opportunity to have a one on one in person doubt clarification session with the vmware mentor and this particular zero to hero program will also preparing learners for l3 or senior level profiles now we have transition many careers with our deep dive program and you can see some of the feedbacks right here on your screen these are the feedbacks what we have received from all of our successful learners who has transitioned their career with us so what are you waiting for if you want to become vmware expert or want to master this technology then call us now today on the given number or maybe drop us email on the provided email address thank you